Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in my studio with Annalisa and the brand new Profoto D2. So the D2 is the brand new light in Profoto's Monolight lineup, and this one's all about speed. Super fast recycle, super short flash duration, and we're gonna put this thing through its paces. Okay, so I'm outside on the balcony in my studio with, with Annalisa, and I've got the Profoto D2 in a beauty dish. What I'm gonna do here is I've got her with the skyline behind her, and the light is coming down, kind of giving an angle that could be similar to the sun. I've done this before in, in videos, you've probably seen it, where I use the beauty dish to kind of shade her, and then I'm gonna light her with the Profoto. Using the TTL, it's really, really convenient and fast. Also, this camera combined with that light allows for high-speed sync, and that's going to allow me to give me a little bit more shallow depth of field, because without the high-speed sync, I'm shooting at F8 at a 200th of a second. With the high-speed sync, I'm gonna be able to bring my aperture more wide open to, let's say, a 2.8, so I can get the background a little more out of focus, which I think is kind of nice here. It can just become a nice blur of color. And the thing is, I could shoot all the ways open at 1.2, I could shoot at 2.8, I could shoot at F8. I really have a lot of options with the high-speed sync. It's keeping up, right? Yeah, I love it. Also, the light's keeping up. I'm battling the sun here, and the, I'm not having to wait for the light at all. I'm just shooting, shooting, shooting. Okay, so I've switched over to aperture priority on my camera because I want to move around freely because I'm kind of liking some of the natural light that's hitting her too. And at this point, I'm just using the light as kind of like a hair light. So we'll work this a little bit. With my shutter speed and aperture combo and the fact that this building behind her is in the shade, I'm effectively making it nighttime out here. So this light can synchronize with high-speed sync up to eight thousandth of a second. That's the reason why I'm using this camera that has that capability. I'm shooting at eight thousandth of a second at f2, and essentially, even though the sun is blasting on this spot of her face, it's completely evened out now with the beauty dish, so she has nice even light across her, and we just get the little bit of hints of the sky. It's actually really, really pretty. So go ahead, let's shoot a few more. So we're still out here on the balcony with Annalisa, and I've decided to try to stop the action of a water balloon exploding. We're gonna have some fun with this. So I just have the, the head right behind me. Uh, I'm gonna use the, the really fast flash duration of this unit to freeze the action. I'm shooting at about 5.6 at 3200 of a second, so I am using high-speed sync as well to give me the atmosphere that I want in the background. And I'm literally just going to uh, get her in place. She's gonna pop the balloon, and we're gonna see if we can get a great expression and some water flying through the air. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we blocked out all the windows as much as possible in my studio and put some V-flats and stuff up because we want to uh, shoot a series of photos and get rid of as much ambient light as possible. Now, because I'm gonna have her moving around, I've had to back my light up. I have it in the magnum reflector, but it's backed up pretty far. So in order to keep the power low enough that I can shoot really, really fast, um, I wanna keep my settings pretty low. So I blocked the windows as much as possible. It's not completely dark in here, but it's pretty close to it. I'm shooting at uh, uh, f2.8 and I've got the camera on like a tracking autofocus and basically Annalise is gonna dance around and jump around and stuff. And the beauty of this is that it's gonna create a really cool sequence because the flash can recycle really quickly, but also because of the really short flash duration, it's gonna freeze like her hair flying around and stuff. And we should get some really fun shots from this. Another important thing here is that I'm using TTL. See, my light is over here and my model is moving across the frame back and forth. 
because I, I want that hard light on her. I can't set up a big soft light that's gonna cover the whole area, right? So she's coming, I mean, the exposure could change two to three stops depending on how close she gets to the light. And every single frame, the TTL is re-metering for me, so I'm getting a perfect exposure no matter where she moves in the space. So the Profoto D2 also introduced a brand new menu system, which is really easily accessible. You just click this settings button here and use your knob here to rotate through it. So let me show you how to set this thing up. Okay, so the new menu system, again, is access to the settings button. Here's our settings for modeling light. This is our ready beep. So for instance, if I want to change this, I press this down and I can move to free modeling light so I can set the exposure wherever I like for my modeling light. Proportionate moves up and down with how my power settings and max gives me the maximum amount of modeling light all the time to make it easy to focus. Over here in our ready, that's just a simple beep and dim, or dim the light until it's ready, or beep until it's ready, or of course you can just turn it off if you're not worried about that. Sync, of course you've got your air sync, you've got your off if you, if you want to use a sync cord, and then you've got your optical slave. Over here in our mode, we've got normal or freeze for when you really want to stop the action. Then finally, we've got our channels and groups. You've got up to eight channels, if you're working in a studio with other people with Profoto equipment, you can put in a different channel from them. And then you've got your groups here, which you have all the ways to F. A, B, and C are TTL groups. D, E, and F are not. So if you have like previous D1s that don't do the TTL, you can mix them in no problem. Okay, so like all Profoto products, this is built to last. It's a really good, strong construction, so you can kind of uh, use it out in the field and not worry too much about it. They have changed the knob here from their auto mono lights that allows you to really crank it down harder too, which is gonna be great if you put big modifiers on it. Speaking of that, this is compatible with all Profoto modifiers. They all slide right on. You get the zoom settings here. Just don't use the OCF stuff with this because those are not designed to work with such a hot modeling light, but anything from the RFI collection or any of the reflectors work totally fine. So after using this light for a few hours, it totally kept up with any of the specs that they have listed. One eight thousandth of a second, no problem. We did that outside with high-speed sync. 20 frames per second this thing can recycle at. Well, we kept up with our 1DX, no problem. And also, it has the flash duration listed when it's all the way down at one sixty-three thousandth of a second. Well, everything we put in front of the camera was frozen, so I know the flash duration for this thing is really short. If you're somebody looking for a fast light, freeze the action, shoot things repeatedly, this might be for you. They're not gonna stop making the, the D1. That's gonna be great for general studio use, but if you need a really high-powered workhorse, the D2 might be for you. So I wanna thank Profoto for dropping off the D2. It was really great to play with, and I'm definitely gonna add it to my kit eventually. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here, and I'll see you next time.